Hello everyone. In today's video, we will gonna talk about MQ4, which is primarily detecting methane, but also detects LPG, alcohol, propane, hydrogen, and CO. To some extent, it has a detecting range from 200 ppm to 10,000 ppm, which is parts per million. Inside, it has an heating element and that heats up. And from connection standpoint, there it has four pins, the volt, the ground, the digital output, and the analog output. The digital output you can set by using this potentiometer and adjusting the range, and you could use a trigger, a buzzer, or an LED when the sensor reaches a certain threshold to trigger it. But we will use the analog pin as in today's video. And we will assign that to an Arduino Uno and read out the values from that. Not just read out the values, but we will set the PPM ratio as well and measure it by, we are using standard two pond capers where we have to connect the five volt, the ground, and I will use the analog zero. That's our connection. It's fairly simple. You are connecting the analog output to A0 and voltage and ground, and that's it. So in order to have the PPM value, we have to measure the actual resistance of what we are getting from the sensor by using some very simple mathematics and do that in a relative clean air outdoor or a um, ventilated room like um, to have a relative clean air and it's not closed and that will define our sensor clean air resistance by using the average of the air as this resistance and we we'll, we'll see that it's 22.25 rs in the relative clean air so let's make 22.5 the average value for the sensor's resistance in clean air. Instead of reading only the analog value, we are measuring and estimating the, uh, we are estimating the PPM as well. So what this will do, this will show a difference, difference between the, the PPM. And since the sensor is capable to detect also some natural gas or LPG. I will use a simple lighter to release some gas and see how the values are changing over the time. By touching here, this point and closer, I'm just releasing some gas and I see that it is, the, the values are changing playing around with those sensors are not really safe and uh, it's just for hobby purposes and maybe the accuracy what we are seeing here and it's definitely what we are seeing here it's not correct by the way this sensor has a built-in heater and the, in the building heater it heats up the sensors part like up to 90 degrees in celsius and that's how the sensor is measuring. So if you release some, some gas, you see it acts in, in a reaction and heats up uh, much, much faster. And also the values starting to increase. If you do some flame, then it is not really detecting well. So yeah, that's it. If you would like to see a similar kind of videos in the future with thermo camera or with more details, hit the like, hit the subscribe and hit the notification bell as well because that's important. And I want to see your comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for your attention. Looking forward for the next video. Thank you.